the box light technology. Box light is a company that makes projectors, and this is one of their products. So what they've done is they've taken the projector and they've taken the interactive components of, say, a smart board. And you guys are familiar with smart boards, I assume. So they've taken that interactive component and built it into the projector itself. What that allows them to do is they can project to any surface. In this case, we're projecting to a standard whiteboard. But you can project directly onto a standard wall, white wall, nothing, nothing there. Or you can even project directly to a standard pull-down screen as well. And then while it's projected, then you can start interacting with, with that board. Um, and all it requires are these pens. Um, standard comes with two pens because it does allow you to do simultaneous dual interaction with, with pens. So you can have two people up there writing something up if you wanted to. Um, standard is just the projector itself, um, but it does have an option of installing uh, speakers, as you can see up there. And they're wireless speakers that you can install and you know walk around the room wirelessly, project your voice. Um, it's got a big range, about 300 feet. Um, you can also plug in iPods, iPhones, smartphones, um, and project whatever audio is coming out of those devices and up to the, the speakers. So what I envision happening in classrooms is instead of the desktop speakers that you currently have with some of the um, instructor stations, you would have this, and that way the sound propagates throughout the room a lot better than, than the desktop speakers. So um, This also allows you to plug in a lapel. So if you want, you can just put this in your pocket, have a lapel mic, and walk around the room and have that ability as well, too. So The technology works by these pens emitting a infrared signal, and the camera captures that signal. So as you're tapping across the screen, it just figures out where that light gets emitted, and it's tracking it that way. Um, so right now what I have is I have it on mouse mode. So essentially anything I can do with a mouse like drag this icon, it'll allow you to do. So think of this as nothing less, nothing more than just using a mouse, okay? Um, if we have a program running, um, in this case, a program from Boxlight, this gives you the toolbar that some of you may have seen with smart boards. Gives you the pens, um, gives you some erasers, ability to save, and some other tools that we'll go over in a few minutes. But um, one thing to note too is the camera can see where the borders are of the screen. So if I wanted to get that toolbar, I don't have to go all the way across to grab it. I can just tap outside of the screen and it'll bring the toolbar directly onto here, okay? But on the bottom, if you tap there, it allows you to cycle between the mouse and the pen, okay? And then down here in the middle is your whiteboard. So if you wanted to get a whiteboard and then a pen to start writing, and then just start choosing a pen. You got different colors that you can choose from. You've got a highlighter tool, which lets you highlight what you've done. And again, if you have a PDF document up, you can highlight parts of the document if you wanted to. Uh, you've got shapes, so you've got a square. Uh, your standard triangles and so forth. And then if you want to customize your pen, you would click on this, choose the size, and choose the color. And then as you can see, it's a lot thicker at that point. Um, this is your eraser. So I can erase a certain part. Or if I want to erase the whole board, I can click on that and it will erase the whole board. Can you bring the board back? You can, good question. So if you accidentally erased it, you click on the tool gear here, and there's an undo button. So what this allows you to do is it allows you to undo all the way to the very beginning of your presentation. And redo it. <laughs> Would um, teachers just use this in lieu instead of writing those, using those markers? Like mm -hmm. Some people complain about the order. The order? Of the oh, sure. Yeah. So they, it could just completely replace the whiteboard. Correct. Well, plus, sometimes you go to class and all the markers are barely no, writing. They don't work. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's, it doesn't leave any streaks, so, you know, yeah. traces of what's been done before. From, before. from before, correct. <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, you can undo and redo. This button right here lets you save. It's an old floppy disk. 
So if I wanted to save everything that we've written, so all those things, I would just save it, and then we can call that image later on again, later on. Or if you want to disseminate that information to your students, you can send that to them via email. You can print it out. So you know, open it up in, in whatever program you want to. You can import it within Word or PowerPoint presentation and then use it in that document or you can just print it out directly to a printer as well. Does this oh, work at all like a, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Does it work at all like a, could it replace a document camera like with a book if you wanted to look at a book? Or would you have to have PDF file of the book and then put that up there? If there's an interface with the Windows system with a document camera, some of them do, then you can annotate directly to while it's being displayed on the screen. But my guess is the ones that we have to put out there doesn't interface with Windows. So in those cases, you would have to have a digital version, either scanned or a PDF, and then you can manipulate it on the screen.